Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm a couple of days late with the uh, the drawing of the uh, sponsors, so I thought I'd do it now. Uh, I still have uh, one video that I can upload that I did Sunday, but I'll do that after this one. Uh, first, I want to show you a couple of uh, dried pieces because a lot of people uh, always ask about those. So this was the one where we um, dripped... Uh, Drip the paint on the canvas, as you can see. And I added, of course, a little bit of glitter. But if you really, if you only have one light, I'll show you with one light. See how, um, oh, with no lights. See how you almost don't even see the, the, uh, the glitter. It's just, you know, when you move it, when you're walking past it, then you're going to see it. So it's not that, you know, it's not that glittery. <laughs> uh, um, but I really like what it did to the uh, did to the painting. Let's see, back in focus, yes. So, um, and it's all dried up. So um, I kind of like it. Especially when you... Uh, when the light hits it, it's beautiful. Those bloomy things uh, turned out really cool. They don't have any glitters in it. There's glitter around it. See that? Don't know how that happened. But um, I kind of like it. It's a different effect. Putting this one away. Then someone asked, you know, sh they'd like to see this one. The, uh, the four cup flip with the... A little bit darker colors this is it um, it's totally dry now and this uh, the white oh boy that's uh, just the painting that fell down um, the white is perfect there's nothing you know a lot of people are having cracking but cracking only happens when number one the paint is way too thick I'm talking about really thick I've never had paint that thick um, Another one is when you use colors of one brand and white of another. Um, you you can be lucky that they're really close together with drying, how fast they dry. But if you are not lucky, your colors will dry faster or slower than the white, and then it'll crack. So that's I always avoid that. I don't want that. So. Um, what I really like is up here, as you can see, beautiful, beautiful cells. This one really, um, I don't know why, but for some reason I really, really like it. I, I still think it's one of my best. Here it has the little cells. There the white webbing, then up here the bluer cells, then we go over here and you have the more greener cells, it's it's really pretty. And it has a little bit of, um, of glitter, just a tiny bit, but you'll have to really, um, you know, if you walk by you see the glitter, but if you're standing in front of it you won't. So it, it really comes to life and it's really, really pretty. So, um, and why a lot of people want to see it, because a lot of people don't believe that when I pour the cells that I have, that they're going to stay there, because I don't know why that is, because a lot of people do a pour, and then hours later something happens to the pour, and I don't know why that happens. I never have that, to tell you the truth. So, um... Let's see which way would I hang this. Nah, not that way. I think I'd hang it like this. This is the. I think this is the right way. Then we have the dark down here. Yeah, this looks. Uh, this this piece here, man, that is so amazing. Let me give you a little close up here. Let me see exactly where I said I really really like it. It's really the whole whole band up here, which I really, really like. Wow. I'm pretty happy with it, as you can tell. <laughs> I'm 
That's why I got the gloves on because I don't want no uh, fingerprint grease on it because um, I'll be uh, varnishing it before it goes away. Okay, putting that away. Then, then I did a lot of Yupos, a lot of purple ones, and I'll give you a close up of those too. Uh, let me put them on the table that I can give you a good close up. As you can see, put a little bit of glitter on there because it's going to be jewelry, and we do want a little bit of glitter. But as jewelry, let's see. See when you when when you move, you'll see the glitter. When you stop, you won't see no glitter. But that's what it turned into and it has some pretty pieces let's see where the other one is there's one and that one that one I'm not too fond of that really, really dark purple. It's almost black. But, you know, I'll just take uh, something around it. Because this is almost black. And this is on Yupo. Uh, it might have something cool if I uh, put some resin on it. You never know. So, putting those away. And I've got a whole bunch of blue ones. Blue and green. I've got a lot of those. Let's see. Oh, it's still wet on the back. I'll have to clean that off first. Let's see. You can see how long it takes to dry if it's on the, on a uh, workbench. Oh yeah, and the purple one. Oh boy. The one where you guys all laughed about it. <laughs> Me too. But it turned out beautiful. I really like it. And I had a lot of people say, you know, Anne-Marie, what you want to do? Put an iris on it. And I thought that was a really cool idea. An iris and then those beautiful leaves of the iris. That's going to be really cool. I'm going to go search for one. Ooh, I missed the bees here, but I can do that. But um, I think that'll look beautiful with the little center. It has a little bit of yellow. So it'll pop off the uh, the background. So hope I've shown everything that you guys wanted to see. Uh, this one is um, still not ready. As you can see, it has still has a little bit. The first layer I put on it, I had a whole series. I had I think about eight paintings, and I cleaned them all with the sponge. And then I started varnishing before it was totally dry, and that's why it cracked on me. But if I put on a couple of more layers, I'm sure it's going to um, look better. This was also one of them with the cracks, and as you can see, it has now... Uh, you can see it a little bit, but, you know, not really. You'll have to really zoom in on it to, uh, to see it. But it looks like, uh, almost like resin now. So I'm going to do one more coat on this one, one more on this one. And as you can see, it's uh, it has a little bit of a green hue up here. But that, that you can't help that. But I'm going to uh, put on two, maybe two more layers. Okay, then it's time to do the drawing of the um, for the uh, donor thing I'm going to do. So this is the list. And I have the same, but I've cut it up, all the, all the names. So these are the people that are in the um, September drawing. And here we have all the names cut up. They're all in there. Yes, they are. So, um, I don't want to see it, so I'll get a cloth, 
put the cloth over it like that and as we always do I'm gonna put in my hand I'm gonna swirl it around and now I gotta really make sure I got one because I only have one painting that's one oops Mary Lou you are the winner of September and what I've had in mind was um, it's this one which still needs one more layer of varnish this one or I would like to make a necklace so Mary Lou can um, choose what she wants she can have this painting or I'll make a necklace out of um, and then she can she can you can um, mail me the color you like if you want something purple and pink or something purple or blue and green whatever you want you just tell me and I'll make you a necklace so you can choose this one necklace let me know I'll email you anyway and then I'll um, you can let me know what you want okay this is kind of cool but I know some people like a necklace better than a painting so because it doesn't fit in everyone's um, it doesn't fit in everyone's uh, house I understand that so because I'll be doing some jewelry anyway from now on people can choose between a painting of a jewelry okay okay so that's about it what else do I have do I have to tell you guys I don't think anything I don't think I've skipped anything nope I don't think so so tomorrow we will be um, I'll show you the uh, new list and then we'll go on from there okay so thank you all very much I really appreciate it and I'm gonna put this one up on YouTube and the other one and I'm gonna mail Mary Lou so thanks all for watching love you all to pieces Liebe euch alle. thank you bye bye